In the Buddha's time, in the city of Rajagaha, when the price of rice went up, a certain young man named Chunta bartered a bag of rice for young piglets. Chunta raised his pigs in pens and fed them until they were nice and fat. Chunta was a cruel and cold-hearted butcher. When a pig was fat enough, he prepared to kill it. To prevent the pig from escaping, Chunta tied its legs together. Then, he used a large stick to beat the pig. Chunta then forced a large piece of wood into the pig's mouth to keep it open. He then poured boiling hot liquids into the pig's mouth, causing it to defecate. Chunta checked to see if the liquid that came out was clear. If the liquid was dirty, he would continue to pour boiling liquid into the pig's mouth until the liquid that came out was clean. Then, Chunta would pour the rest of the boiling water onto the pig's body, causing any dark spots of the pig's skin to peel. Chunta would then heat a large stick until it was red, and use it to burn off the pig's darkened flesh. Finally, Chunta used a large sword to chop off the pig's head. He used the blood he collected to marinate the pig's meat. Then, Chunta would barbecue the pig's meat and eat it with his wife. For 55 years, Chunta made a living raising and killing the pigs and selling their meat. The entire time that the Buddha resided at the Weruwana temple, not far from him, Chunta never made any offerings to the Buddha, nor did he listen to the Dhamma. In his old age, he felt the pains of death creep upon him. His body burned up from the inside, just like the fires of Awichi, the most fearful hell realm that awaited him. All he could do was crawl and scream out in pain. His voice sounded no different from the countless pigs he butchered. Like a pig, he crawled and screamed all day and all night. Unable to bear his behavior, his wife moved away. Some monks who happened to walk by heard what sounded like a pig's screams. Disgusted, the monks said to one another, This Chunta has no compassion. Even in his old age, he still butchers and torments helpless pigs. Their screams pierce my heart. The monks brought this story to the Buddha. The Buddha said, Monks, the sound you heard was not Chunta slaughtering pigs. It was Chunta himself screaming in torment for seven days. He died on the seventh day. Today is the eighth day. Chunta has been reborn in Awichi, the lowest hell. There, he is being punished for the pain and suffering he inflicted upon others. My lord, Chunta suffered for seven days and still has to go to Awichi to suffer more? That is true, monks. Here he grieves. Hereafter he grieves. 
The evildoer grieves in both existences. He grieves and suffers when he sees the depravity of his own deeds. What did you learn from this story? We hope you enjoyed the video. Click like if you did, and click subscribe if you want to see our uploads.